I thought Son of Sam was rough. This is how the nationally known psychic spent their Friday the 13th. They are visiting Atlanta courtesy of the National Enquirer. Yes, the same National Enquirer with those sensational headlines that can be seen at most supermarket counters. And this is the stuff of which those tabloid headlines are made. As the psychics scrambled through the woods where four of the 20 murdered children were found, psychic Mickey Dane of Miami kicked off her shoes. She asked reporters to feel how hot her feet were and then declared that two more bodies might be found nearby. There is something here. Some, some child out there is trying to tell us to go further into this. Dog trainer Don Lakin promised to have his German shepherd sniff through the area again. The Philadelphia dog man said the victim's families asked him to take the psychics on a tour of the sites where bodies were found. Jonathan Bell, whose brother Yosef is among the victims, also served as a guide. A freelance artist was there too, sketching psychics' descriptions of suspects. He's the one I think a woman worked with, and I think the woman knew he killed that boy, and I think the woman was involved in killing two, two boys also. Irene Hughes of Chicago and the other psychics just don't understand why Atlanta police aren't working more closely with them. Today's entourage filled two Cadillac limousines and half a dozen news vehicles and not a police officer in sight. The psychics plan to write separate reports and submit them to the Atlanta Police Task Force. The National Enquirer insists that all of this is for the benefit of the police. But it's hard to deny that it also sells newspapers. Terry Anzer, Action News.